We might have just got our first in-game teaser for Call of Duty 2024, and we're going to go over exactly what's going on and try to predict what might happen next. You might be wondering, what is Call of Duty 24? Well, it's heavily rumored to be called Black Ops Gulf War, which is a sequel to Black Ops Cold War, developed by Treyarch and coming out at the end of this year. Now, I know we're only in February, so the idea of there already being teasers for this game sounds implausible, but I genuinely think that what we're going to talk about is the very first remnants of the in-game teasers to come for what could be one of the biggest Black Ops game reveals of all time. If you're excited about the sound of that, then you need to let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. And if you want to never miss out on any future Call of Duty news on this game or Modern Warfare 3, you need to hit the subscribe button now. Now, Season 2 for Modern Warfare 3 added a fair amount of content to Warzone, but there was an additional change which went completely under the radar that wasn't mentioned in patch notes or made as a big deal. On the Urzikstan map, if you head towards Old Town and go underground to this cave system here, this relies a bunker which until Season 2 was completely closed. This is the only bunker that has mysteriously opened out of nowhere. And if we make our way inside, it looks incredibly suspicious. There is nine different VAT tanks that all have zombies suspended in liquid inside, like as if the zombies are being experimented on in a lab for some sort of future event. Now, there's also a few little side rooms that contain some machinery, which suspiciously looks a lot like what we got in Verdansk during some of their Easter eggs. But what is so curious about this is that there are these weird terminals to the side of each of these vat tanks which has an incredibly detailed texture to show what is going on using a sniper rifle we can zoom in and we can see it says subject in stasis but then we see a diagram of a zombie with multiple different areas that it's pointing to and there is no reason that this texture is so high quality that we can read it all clear as day if they didn't want us to see this as mentions about the decay rate of the zombie its dna decay rate with all these different chemicals involved in the DNA and there is a completely separate room where there is one singular tube on its own with a zombie suspended in liquid that again has one of these little consoles in front of it and this is all just really suspicious to me the fact that this bunker is open out of nowhere that has this tucked into the bunker along with other bits of equipment that is familiar to the bunkers that were in the original Verdansk which were used as the Black Ops Cold War in-game teasers and ARG is just extremely suspicious to me and the fact that there was no real warning this is just here there's been no explanation by raven software or sledgehammer games as to why this is opened and i suspect that as we go through the seasons more of these bunkers are going to be opened through patches that are all going to have these weird zombie experiment testing going on but there could be even more hidden little details which indicate that something bigger here is at play furthermore at the far back of the room there is a another bunker door which is absolutely massive and that is sealed shut there doesn't seem to be a keypad that exists at the moment in order to open it but surely why would they open up one of these bunkers for you to go in and get a little bit of loot if there wasn't something bigger at play here now here is why i think we're getting a look at the very first of what will be a massive in-game teaser for black ops gulf war up until now with the storyline within the urzikstan warzone map there has been absolutely nothing involving zombies whatsoever right Right now, we do have a zombies themed season, but in terms of Warzone on the main map, Urzikstan, there is nothing zombies related going on. But yet here we are in game with these weird test tube vats where we have zombies inside them. And the most fascinating part is that at least one of the zombie models that are within these tanks is actually a model from Treyarch's game because it's labeled in the coding as T10, which is the code name for Treyarch's next game. But even then, I don't think that's conclusive enough evidence. So what else could there be? Well, well, if we go back to the original Verdansk in 2021, a few months after the release of Black Ops Cold War, zombies started to invade the main Warzone map. They were invading every single area, and it got to a point where the map was so infested with zombies that the only alternative was to completely nuke the map, which is how we got Verdansk 84. Now, the current rumor is that Black Ops Gulf War is going to have its own Warzone map, which is actually going to be a remaster of the Verdansk map. Now, narratively, they don't need to destroy Urzikstan, but it would be very fitting for them to destroy the Urzikstan map by the end of the MW3 seasons. And what a better way to do it than to have it be infested with zombies again. Is it would be a crazy explosive way to end Warzone and bring it back to Verdansk, but also to tease Black Ops Gulf War at the same time. Now, my main suspicion for why I think these are going to be teasers for Black Ops Gulf War is that Black Ops Cold War was teased in the exact same way. As the months went on and we got closer to the August 2020 reveal, there were multiple new 
areas within the Warzone map that became accessible that each contained their own Black Ops themed Easter egg. And especially when it came to the bunkers, each of the bunkers had tons of Cold War era props and items, which were all obvious teasers for the Black Ops Cold War reveal. Now, unless there's going to be a crazy twist within the Warzone story for MW3 involving zombies, my suspicion is that as the seasons go on, more and more of these bunkers are going to be opened and we're going to get an even better look at more of these zombie labs that are being set up in these bunkers as well as trying to piece together the story of what is going on here because there is no way that raven software and sledgehammer would just randomly add this into one of the bunkers and have it opened these bunkers have been a crucial part of storytelling for call of duty since warzone's inception and the best way for them to market the upcoming game is to market it within warzone just like they've always done but at this point i'm sure you know as well as i do that everything that call of duty does and adds in the game has a purpose and when they add something like this and don't comment on it clearly this has a purpose that won't reveal itself for a while yet and what makes this even more suspicious and makes me think this is an actual teaser for black ops gulf war is that if we go inside of modern warfare zombies which is on the same map and go to the exact same location the bunker door is not open there so this is not something to do with modern warfare zombies another classic case of why the heck did warzone get this zombies updated bunker but the modern warfare zombies version of the map didn't get this same update it is a little bit strange now if we go and look at the timeline in which we first started to see black ops easter eggs added into the dance back in 2020 well considering the reveal for that game was in august those teasers in warzone started in may even though warzone only came out in march and that's a pretty big gap of about three months before the game was revealed so that's quite a crazy amount of time and i don't think it's completely out there to suggest that they could already start to tease black ops golf war in this game now in february but as the seasons go on they could update the warzone map open more of these bunkers reveal a little bit more about what is going on with the storyline with why these zombie laboratory bunkers exist. But you guys need to remember what happened when we were getting Black Ops teasers within Warzone. It ended up with the amazing ARG that we were all a part of here on the channel back during August 2020, which was the Pawn Takes Pawn reveal. There were Easter eggs every day being added into Warzone with new codes that we had to crack, which would open brand new rooms, which would also have their own clues within that would lead us more and more towards the reveal. Now, I think that was the best reveal event that we ever had for a Call of Duty game. Just the excitement and the build-up of all these different things I thought was fantastic and I really really want them to do that again but I just feel like too much of a good thing is not a good thing but it was just so interactive. It had the whole community working together trying to figure all this stuff out and it was truly amazing and then unlike a full-blown reveal with a trailer for instance we could get something a little bit like what we've seen with Modern Warfare 2 and with Modern Warfare 3 where the marketing for the game actually actually starts quite a bit earlier and there isn't a full-on gameplay reveal trailer for a little while but there are at least some announcements and excitement trailers that reveal the name of the game the logo some of the characters that are going to be involved before the full-fledged reveal like we saw with the artwork of price and makarov before we got that reveal trailer some of you might think i'm purely reaching here and i genuinely don't think i am i really do think this is the very first of what will be a lot of in-game teasers for warzone when it comes to black Ops Gulf War. It might take a good few more months before any of these become more obvious, but they wouldn't add a room like this and make it so detailed if there wasn't some sort of bigger purpose that would come into play as time goes on. But I'd love to know what you think down below in the comment section. I think we're all just extremely excited for the next Black Ops game. And with all the rumors pointing to that game being a fully round-based zombies game, I also think it's within the interest of the Call of Duty community for them to also tease that game by by teasing it with zombies.